Welcome to the Makeup and Hairstyling Bake Off for the 93rd Academy Awards. Let's begin with the basics. Our definition of makeup refers to any change in the appearance of a performer's face, head or body created by the application of cosmetics, three-dimensional materials, prosthetic appliances or facial hair applied directly to the performer's face, head or body. Hairstyling refers to any change in the appearance of a performer through hairstyling, wigs or hair pieces applied directly to the performer. All of the artist's work is outstanding and we offer our congratulations to them. Films like that have so many challenges, especially with all those elaborate hairstyles and locations and costumes and different people and different elements. Can you share with us some of your biggest challenges that you faced on a day-to-day -day basis? Every change we had to do was basically done on set um, or adjacent to the set in um, a tiny tent, uh, which was quite tricky due to the fact that we were using Marcel tongs and a small oven to heat them in. So that was against us. Give me a name. Come on. Hugh McCall, old boy. Yeah, a couple of little assholes. That McCall boy had an idea, die loneliness. Will you get him some ice? <laughs> They're professionals and they've worn prosthetics before, so they didn't want to waste any time and they wanted to get into being Mama and Bev. Uh, I did a lot of hand painting, though, because I didn't want it to be too caricature um, uh, on either of them. And so um, I kind of did a lot of just hand painting on bringing out more of the sun damage and more of the lines and a lot of the um, aging around the eyes and deep circles. What the hell happened? Better tell this man who I am, better get him straight. Tell this man who we messing with. Could you talk about the steps you came up with for the design of this character? The, the first thing I needed to do was kind of do a really broad research onto what was it like to be in 1920s America what was available for women in 1920s America? Was there anything available to women of color? I had to cast a really wide net to kind of set the socioeconomic to build this character. I, I needed to know what her perimeters were. All kinds of different things that had nothing to do with uh, the character itself, but more so the world that she lived in. Obviously, the movie is in black and white, which which, you know, uh, creates a whole bunch of challenges and, and specifics. But will you talk about what uh, you found was the, the difference in how you approach things with with shooting black and white versus color? Shooting in black and white is really shooting in gray. So we had to retrain our eyes and everyone had to do it. David Fincher, the, d the director, the DP, the costume designer, the set decorator. We had to find um, tones in those colors that we could look at, at, he could look at, that the actors could look at in person and it wouldn't be a shock. Uh, when you started this project for, for the creation of all your characters, because there's certainly a lot of different things, I'm just curious what, what you were referencing. The project um, was, was a, a real passion project for the director. Very passionate that we stick to the uh, flavor of the um, original illustrations for the Collodi uh, book. Set it in the period uh, and in, in Tuscany in a sort of poor rural area. And he wanted to keep the grittiness and the grunginess of all the characters, you know, especially the sort of cat and the, the fox characters who are these really grubby uh, um, guys that live in poverty. That work has delighted and transported us into the world of storytelling in, frankly, a year where we could all do with escaping into the world of stories beyond ourselves. And may we all enjoy celebrating Oscar at the Academy Awards this April 25th on ABC.